Snakes are fascinating creatures with unique physical characteristics and modes of movement. One of the most distinctive features of a snake is its elongated body, which is made up of several segments, including the neck, body, and tail. Distinguishing these segments is important when observing snakes, as it can provide valuable information about their behavior and anatomy. In this video, we will explore the anatomy of snakes, how to distinguish their neck, body, and tail, and how snakes move. Anatomy of Snakes Snakes are members of the reptile family and have several unique anatomical features that distinguish them from other animals. Their elongated body is made up of a series of vertebrae, which allows them to be incredibly flexible and move in a variety of ways. They also have a long, narrow skull with a forked tongue that they use to sense their environment. Snakes have no limbs, but they do have muscles that enable them to move in a variety of ways, such as slithering, sidewinding, and concertina movement. Their skin is covered in scales, which protect them from predators and provide a waterproof barrier. Additionally, snakes have a unique respiratory system that enables them to breathe while they swallow prey. Distinguishing the neck, body, and tail of a snake. The neck, body, and tail of a snake can be distinguished by several physical characteristics. The neck is the narrowest part of the snake's body, located behind the head. The body is the thickest and longest part of the snake, and the tail is the narrowest part of the body, located at the end opposite the head. One way to distinguish the neck, body, and tail of the snake is by looking at the shape and size of the segments. The neck is usually the smallest and most slender part of the snake, and it connects the head to the body. The body is the largest segment of the snake, and it is usually cylindrical in shape. The tail is the thinnest and most tapered part of the snake, and it usually ends in a pointed tip. Another way to distinguish the neck, body, and tail of the snake is by looking at the scales. The scales on the neck are usually smaller and more tightly packed than the scales on the body and tail. The scales on the body are usually larger and have a more regular pattern than the scales on the neck and tail. The scales on the tail are usually smaller and more widely spaced than the scales on the body. How Snakes Move Snakes are known for their unique modes of movement, which allow them to travel through a variety of terrains, including grasslands, deserts, and forests. They use a combination of muscle contractions and body shape changes to move in a variety of ways. Slithering is the most common mode of snake movement and is used by most snake species. It involves the snake moving its body in a series of undulating waves, which propels it forward. Sidewinding is another mode of snake movement that is used in sandy or loose terrain. It involves the snake lifting and pushing its body forward in a series of lateral movements. Concertina movement is used by some snake species to climb trees or move through narrow spaces. It involves the snake gripping onto a surface with its belly scales and pulling its body forward in a series of accordion-like folds. Rectilinear movement is used by some snake species to move slowly and stealthily. It involves the snake stretching its body out in a straight line and using its muscles to propel itself forward. Subscribing and liking the video are a great help thanks for watching.